All right, if we could have people settle down here. Once again, we are here at WesterCon with a Q&A for the uh, three of the, the three bidders for the 2017 Worldcon bid who are present here. And we'll, I would really ask, because we are short on time, to have, make questions serious, not witty. We all know you're very witty. You do not need to prove it further. <laughs> and so to that end, the well, first question. Um, I, Warren, I heard you say you had more than enough rooms, and then I saw a number on your slide that said 1,100 rooms. Given statistics for recent world cons, are you thinking that most people would stay away from Washington, D.C.? Okay, the question was about uh, Washington, D.C.'s room commitments and whether the 1,100 committed rooms are considered sufficient. I, I also mentioned we are negotiating and getting close to finish with an overflow hotel across the street, the Omni Shoreham which has, what, around 800 rooms in the building. I don't know how many of those we're going to use, but there were 1,500 rooms, or there, no, there were about 1,300 rooms used in San Antonio. Uh, Chi-Con's a, a bad one to look at because Chicago numbers are always, always very high, but we believe that somewhere in the range of 1,500 to 1,800 rooms would be sufficient to host a world kind of Washington, D.C. And we believe we could get up to 19. In those two those plans, should you be phenomenally successful? Can I repeat the question? Uh, okay, so the repeat question is, do we have a plan to go even further? Uh, there, we are on the red line. The red line stop is directly across the street from the hotel. Uh, you can access a lot of other hotels that way. Uh, there is also a, is it a Hilton within walking distance? There are other things we can so there are other things we can look at when we start having that problem, um, and it is a problem we would love to have. The red line is the Washington D.C. subway, by the way, part of the part of the metro. Bart, Bart like metro system. Yeah, it's a it's a metro. Okay. Uh, other questions of the bidders, Linda. What is the weather like in your cities? All right, uh, this is the weather question. We've discussed it. We actually it was answered earlier in the Q&A, but we'll, I'll go from here this direction. No, Kansas City was answered. Kansas City answered, so we'll start there. Highs about 72 Fahrenheit, lows overnight about 55, 17 hours of daylight. Humidity. <laughs> I don't have the humidity numbers off the top of my head. It's Finland. I don't think it's that humid. Check with me at the fan table afterwards, and I'll confirm. But it's for Montreal for the Labor Day, sorry, for Montreal for the Labor Day weekend, we the averages are usually low 70s, upper 60s, and the lows during the nights are really 60s, high 50s. It's DC. It's going to be fairly warm. Uh, you're <laughs> looking at highs probably in the mid 80s and lows down in the upper 60s. However, we are bidding a single facility for a reason. You will not have to go outside if you're in the main hotel. Any more questions of the bidders? Okay, well, all of these bids have their tables, and you can get to them here, and I thank you all for coming, and that concludes this year's version of the Westercon Fanish Inquisition. Thank you.